Questions for Lauren, please raise hand under the participants button at the bottom of your screen. John, go ahead. Yeah, um, you guys had a good shooting second quarter, but then the third quarter, you guys only scored six points. Can you kind of describe what happened and what kind of what went wrong in that third quarter? Yeah, um, I think in the third, especially, we kind of got um, a little too dependent just on playing by ourselves. And we talked about it, um, tried to regroup pretty quick, run some things and get the looks that we wanted to versus kind of letting their defense focus and force us into harder one on one shots. Kim, go ahead. Did fatigue play any part of that? Did you think, Lauren, was there any fatigue going on for you guys late in the game? Um, I think at moments, you know, still just such a wonky year with coming back later. Um, so I think it's we definitely knew we we're going to have to play ourselves into our normal this time of year shape. But um, I think it's just definitely something, just our own discipline. But yeah. Other questions for Lauren here? All right, Lauren, we'll let you go. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Next up, we'll have Charisma Osborne. If you have a question for Charisma, please go ahead and use the raise hand function under the participants tab at the bottom of your screen. Hi, Charisma. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. We will go ahead and get started with Kim. Um, Charisma, they start, seem to play better in the second half. What was different for you guys against them? What did you think they were doing different that was more successful? Um, I think they were really looking to get Ari McDonald the ball. She was really attacking um, in the um, full court and she was really trying to get her teammates involved or just attacking herself. So I think that was like the difference for them. Gavin, go ahead. Hi, Charisma. Uh, take us through that final possession, obviously being down three and just what you guys were looking for after the timeout. Yeah, we practice special, special situations all the time in practice. So it was just one uh, play that we drew up, um, trying to get a three for either me or Nat. And we got a good look. I just missed a shot. Any other questions here for Charisma? Sue, go ahead. Hey, hi, Riz. Um, what um, did you guys um, feel like the lap, like their the fact that they had a few more players than you guys had any factor in tonight's game? Um, we don't really think about that. We kind of were just like focused on ourselves and just like playing with the five people on the court. We weren't really thinking about subs or anything like that. Like we know we have eight players and everyone has to step up. So that's all we're focused on. 
What do you, um, and then just one more question. What do you, um, you guys missed a few shots in the third quarter. Um, what can you do to, to shift that for next time? Yeah, I think we just have to refocus better. And we all feel like defense is something that we really take pride in. So once we get going on defense, I think that'll just give us more confidence on the offensive end. So just taking care of business on defense and rebounding, we gave up a couple offensive rebounds like at the beginning of the third quarter. So just being able to fix that up, I think will give us confidence. Thank you very much. Any final questions here for Charisma? All right, that'll do it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, have a nice night. And we will move on here to Coach Close. Hi, Coach. Hi there. You want to start with um, some opening words? Oh, sure. <clears throat> um, you know, I think, think it's, uh, first of all, credit to Arizona. They, uh, they made some great adjustments in the second half, and uh, they're a really good team, and, and uh, we knew this would be a, a really good battle. Um, you know, it's, uh, I think there's just so many learning experiences, but I made a promise to the team that if they would – commit to bringing joy and learning from every single experience, then we would grow in to be a really good team. And there's a lot of things that we're going to look at the film and go and be really frustrated with because it doesn't it always come down to the little things. And, and well, there's going to be some little things that were under our control that we didn't quite take care of that um, allowed them to make the run they did, especially in that third quarter. And so, um, you know, that's going to be painful, but if we will let the pain drive us into um, disciplined adjustments, um, we're going to grow in to be a really good team. And, and this is a, we've played, we started even working out on, on September 21st and uh, we're, we're trying to make adjustments and, and adjust as we go along. And, and I know this team will make adjustments from this game as well. It, it hurts right now because I thought we had lots of opportunities against a really good team. Um, but uh, I really trust the hearts of this team. I trust what they will adjust to do and uh, we'll get better. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions for coach. Kim, go ahead. So in that third quarter, what are those things that you need to fix? Oh, you don't have enough time. Um, <laughs> You know, I think, uh, you know, credit to um, they went small and started switching a bunch of screens. And instead of really being disciplined to make a second and third cut to create more catches, to create ball reversal, to get the ball into the middle of the floor uh, so that we got more, uh, we got team oriented opportunities. But, but more than anything, it was an emotional panic. The first few shots in the third quarter, we got good shots. We didn't make them. And we sort of, instead of, uh, sort of hunkering down and going, hey, let's make one more pass at one more screen. Let's get a cleaner shot. So it goes in. We sort of panicked and we started going one on one and against a team with the athleticism and defensive prowess of uh, Arizona. That's not a good idea. And we need to learn when those when those times come, how to get uh, easier shots out of teamwork. And, and looking at that as opposed to trying to sort of make a panicked one-on-one -on -one play. And it took us too long to regroup and regather, uh, you know, and that's, that put us sort of behind the eight ball. Sue, go ahead. Hey coach. So um, I just saw a comment right before I, I, you guys started on social media about, oh, the Bruins look tired, but I didn't think you guys look tired to me. Maybe you could comment on that and you feel like, was it, um, did, did the, you know, shorter, your shorter roster have anything to do with the results tonight or, or no? You know, I am really trying to just uh, stay, I'm just going to be really candid with you. We're not in, in, in the kind of shape we normally are in at this time. So you add sort of the ups and downs of our rosters. We've had so we've had a really difficult time in our training regimen of how we can train, but there's no excuses. I mean, the reality is 
uh, we didn't have the opportunities to train. And I think we've been one of the most well-conditioned teams most years, but the reality is we didn't have the access and we didn't have some of those opportunities that we've had in the past. And so our base was not as good. And we wanted to be very careful as we progressed with our numbers so that we didn't put ourselves in positions to put our players at risk injury wise. That was my biggest worry. So uh, I'm just gonna be really honest with you, Sue, that we're not there yet, we're not. And I thought we did have moments where we looked tired, but I think that's what happens sort of mentally when you're not mentally totally um, have a clear where you are, then that's when you become a coward to your fatigue. And we will get in better condition uh, and as, as we go along in this year. Uh, and we will work on the mental side of, of regrouping with that quicker because our minds are, are stronger than our bodies. And so while our bodies are catching up, our minds have to be the discipline. Otherwise, default's going to win every time. And speaking of that, thank you for your honesty, by the way. Speaking of that, um, Charisma just looks uh, amazing. She stepped up once again tonight. Is she, um, is she about where you thought she would be at this point in her career, or is she maybe a little ahead? Well, I mean, I'll tell you that last year I thought um, that I was surprised. This year I'm not surprised. Um, I knew, I mean, she's one of the best guards in the country. I think she'll be one of the best guards. Uh, if, uh, you know, and I, and I think she's she did step up, but I, I think when she watches the film, I think she's going to see, um, man, there's so much more in me. I mean, there's just so much more. And uh, I just believe in her so deeply. Uh, I believe in what she's going to grow into. Uh, and I don't even think she's scratching the surface yet. And so as good as she is, there's a lot of moments that, um, she, you know, man, when her handle gets a little tighter, uh, when she learns to read defenses and know when to, uh, how to set new screens so she's not denied catches. I mean, when all those like the inches, uh, then you're going to see her go to, she could be, and I always say potential really doesn't mean anything. You have to get the discipline, uh, you know, to, uh, to really ha um, reach her potential. And, and she will do that. I, I really do believe she will be pushed into those spaces, but I'm actually not surprised at all, Sue. It's exactly what I expected from her. Uh, she, she's so versatile. She has the balance of strength and quickness, outside shooting, finishing at the cup. And, and I didn't think she did that as well as she normally does, you know? So uh, Charisma, in, in my mind, will, uh, is one of the best guards in the country and she's only gonna get better. John, go ahead. Yeah, uh, Michaela struggled from the field today, five for 16, but was, uh, was it nice to see her uh, go with other areas of her game with 16 rebounds and, you know, giving effort in other areas of the game? I mean, she's, that's who she is. And then she's also the one in the locker room taking the most responsibility and having big old tears in her eyes because she's such a great competitor and all she cares about is the team winning. And that's who Michaela is. And she's so... Uh, part of what she'll learn some things from this game, but we have to have her back better and we got to create her um, some better scoring catches. And ultimately that's me. First, I take responsibility for that. And then secondly, our team needs to take responsibility for that. They can't get the ball to Michaela and just watch. I thought we did an excellent job and I need to give credit to Tasha Brown who had the scouting report. Um, I thought we did an excellent job using our forwards to break the press and it really was a non-factor in the first half. They had to go small in order to use their pressure more and a lot of that credit goes to Michaela. And what she was able to do, Michaela and Lauren uh, and even Emily, I thought did an excellent job in, in that part of executing sort of an unusual part of the game plan. Um, but Michaela, I mean, 16 rebounds and, and just relentless effort. That's what the thing about her is it doesn't matter if it's going well for her. She plays hard all the time, period. And it's always about the team. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me, John, at all, but uh, I sure am thankful she's on our team. Any other questions here for coach tonight? All right, we will go ahead and wrap. Thank you, coach. Yeah, thank you all for being here and uh, we'll get better. We'll be ready on Sunday. Thank you. Thanks everyone. That will conclude tonight's availability.